What's good, YouTube? You know who it is. Chris Jones, representing Pop Chasers. And today, I wanted to talk to you about something. I wanted to talk to you about something that was on my mind the other day that I just wanted to share with you. And it's about failure versus regret. Now, you know, you may see oftentimes on Instagram or other forms of social media where people talk about failure or, you know, don't fear failure and things like that. But nobody talks about regret. You know, failure is pretty much, you know, when you try something and, you know, you try or attempt something and the results are not in your favor. You know, for an example, you know, you try to win a baseball game, you know, you make it to the championship, you make it to the World Series, and you just don't cut it, you don't win. Failure. You know, you try to get a job, you don't get hired. Failure. You know, you start your own business and you may go bankrupt the first year. You know, all good examples of failure. But regret, you know, regret is usually, um, you know, an emotion that hits you. It usually hits you once you realize that it is too fucking late. You know, it usually hits you when you realize that you had an opportunity and you didn't seize it. You had an opportunity and you didn't take advantage and now you regret it because you realize it is too late to turn back. A perfect example of regret would be something like, now this is crazy by the way, you know, but let's say for an example, you've been playing the lotto for five years, right? And you use the same numbers when you played the lotto and you're just fed up. You've been, you, you haven't won shit in five years. And the lotto is like 300 million. And you're like, you know what? I'm just not gonna play. I'm not gonna win anyway. And sure enough, you wake up, you look on the newspaper or you look online and you see the numbers that you would have played have hit. And you would have been $300 million richer if you would have just fucking played. Perfect example of regret. I know, I mean, I don't know, I don't know too many people that wouldn't regret that, you know, missing an opportunity like that. And to be 100% honest with you, there have been things that have happened in my life in the past that, you know, I didn't take advantage of, you know, or I didn't do my best and I've regretted. You know, so regret is a, is a terrible thing. You never want to go through your life regretting anything because to my knowledge, we only get a chance at this life thing once. I mean, you know, you got a lot of people that, that, that believe in reincarnation and all that shit, but I'm not willing to bet on that. To my knowledge, we only get one chance at this thing called life. You don't want to live through it regretting anything. You know, so the point I'm trying to make is, guys, there's anything out there you want to do, anything at all, go for it, man. Just fucking go for it. And I know there are certain situations that we all want to try something, but it just not be, it might not be your time right now. For an example, you may want to start a business. Uh, businesses cost money to start. But what are you doing right now to get you closer to that goal? Sitting around hoping that money falls in your lap or a plan comes together on your lap, it's not realistic. If you have any goals and your time is not now, at least make a plan and slowly work towards it to get closer to your goal. You know, this is why I absolutely, I love bodybuilding. Because not only do you get to build a better physique than the average person and stand out, but I feel like if you have the discipline to diet for weeks, Pass by those drive through windows. Say, no, I'm not eating that. I'm on a mission. Go to the gym when it's raining. Go to the gym when it's snowing. Go to the gym when you're sore and tired. You know, go to the gym when it's not convenient. For year after year, staying disciplined and committed, then I feel like you can do anything. You can turn that into anything. If you can body build, you can do anything. You know, and I'm not trying to talk shit here, right? But I be seeing people, 
and they uh, I follow a lot of them on Instagram and they compete year after year you know at least two or three shows a year and it takes a lot of dieting and discipline to do that right and I'm thinking to myself damn if this person just put 10% or 20% of that discipline towards other things, who knows where this person could be? You know, any goal you have, whether it's bodybuilding, uh, business, hell, even romance, takes sacrifices. You know, nothing's easy. All right? So don't let opportunities pass you by. Don't be scared to take chances. Uh, because you're scared to fail. I'd rather go down, there's an old saying, I'd rather go down fighting than curled up getting swung on, and that's life. Life is hard. You know, life is hard. The day you're born, the day you come out of the womb, you signed up for hard. You signed up for challenges. I'd rather go down fighting then go through life, going through the motions, and then being an old man, looking back at my life and regretting that I never took any chances. So like I said, guys, don't be, a, don't, don't be afraid to fail, guys. Do not be afraid to fail. I'd rather go down failing than regretting, because regretting usually happens when you realize you had an opportunity and it's much too late. And like I just said, if you wanna do something, whatever it may be, and you just don't have the time right now or you just don't have the opportunity right now at least make a plan okay make a plan little steps along the way will get you closer to your goal eventually think about it like this i live in texas right and let's just say the distance from california to texas is my goal now obviously i can get there faster if i get in the airplane i can get there in three hours now, if I get out right now and go walk to California, I will get there. It will take me a long fucking time. But all those little steps will add up, and eventually, my ass will be in California. And that's how you got to look at your goals. Don't think, okay, it's going to take me forever to get there. I can't see the light at the end of the tunnel. Just think about it like this. These little steps are going to add up eventually. I might not get there as fast as everybody else, I might not get there as fast as I would like to, but I know as long as I'm taking small steps every month, small steps every week, eventually I will get there. It's better than sitting on your ass and doing nothing. Me sitting in my living room couch is not going to get me any closer to California. I might as well get out and start taking small little steps along the way, and I will eventually get there. And that's how you got to look at your life, guys. Well, anyway, don't want to hold you too long. Be sure to comment below and let me know, has there been any opportunities that you could have had and you didn't take advantage of and now you're like, fuck. I have some stories to share with you guys. Maybe in my next q and I'll share a couple of my stories where I had opportunities and I missed out on them. I think that'd be very interesting. Y'all have a great day. As always, thank y'all for supporting me. Don't forget to like my shit. Comment, subscribe. By 30 of them bitches, cause Bruno, he's in a cold, shivering, wishing he had some treats to keep him warm. <laughs> I'll be back at you, boy. I will not be out work and anybody challenge me. May not push the weight, or I will not be out with anybody here. Moment of silence. We need a moment of silence before we fuck up these weights. <laughs>